Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my Gore's trailer reaction for the BFG, the Big Friendly Giant, I think that's what it stands for, and this is a brand new Steven Spielberg film, and from what I've seen of it, it looks very Steven Spielberg-esque. So, I'm, a, I'm actually very excited because we've seen a lot of Steven Spielberg movies recently where, don't get me wrong, the whimsy and all the, Steel, the Spielbergian style of a... Uh, of music and editing and uh, filmmaking, all that stuff was there, was definitely there, but we haven't seen a children's movie in a very long time, I feel like. Maybe Tintin, but even that, like, he, he directed, but it was him and Peter Jackson, and even that was, like, more British humor, not British humor, but you know what I mean, it, was, it wasn't, like, it wasn't whimsical, I guess. So I'm actually looking forward to this. I got big-ass reflection on my glasses, sorry. But, uh, I guess you have to deal with that. So anyway, let us watch this trailer for the BFG now. Ew. It was the witching hour when the boogeyman comes out. When people go missing. Sinister three. The girls say the witching hour arrives at midnight. I think it comes at three in the morning when I'm the only one left awake. Like always. Like now. Uh oh. Oh shit. Never get out of bed. Look behind the curtain. Oh, shit. What's up, man? Oh, oh, God. Run! Hey, <laughs> she flailing her arms around. Whoa. And that is where our story begins. Big fucking gun. Disney presents the weapon from Doom. Alright. That looked pretty good. That was a little teaser. Who's in that? I wanna know. Cause uh I don't know. Oh the uh, the jungle. Oh shit, no, I don't no, no, don't want that. I forgot it. I never watched the uh God damn it. My mouse sucks, okay? My mouse keeps double clicking every time I click it. But um yeah, that looks really good. Um it was a teaser trailer, but it did a good job of uh presenting a tone. It's gonna it's it looks like it's doing what Disney has been doing, like kinda like what they're doing with the jungle book where it it's very special effect heavy and even family friendly, but it's still dark in tone, which looks like a unique thing, even though they've been doing it for a little while. Not just Disney, like Shit, look at like stuff like uh, what was it, Jack and the Giant Killer or Slayer? Sorry, they switched the name because it was mean. And uh, some other movies like that, kind of like Into the Woods. Like those movies were still family friendly for the most part, but they were still dark. Like it wasn't just like Maleficent or something like that. Where it's, well, actually Maleficent, Maleficent was kind of like that too. But um, I'm thinking maybe like uh, uh, Oz the Great and Powerful, where that was just straight up like colorful and fun. You know, some of these like doing it where there's a lot of special effects, but still dark colors and all that. But um, I'm gonna give that trailer. I thought it was a really good trailer. Uh, not much to take from it, but it looks like it could be a a new, hopefully, hopefully a new Spielberg classic. I'm hoping it's not gonna be another Tomorrowland, where it ends up being disappointing and it does really bad. <laughs> but um, and it's directed by a wonderful director. Um, I'm going to give that trailer an 8 out of 10. Did a great job. Uh, it looks great. Visually, it looks great. Um, and, uh, you know, it's Spielberg, so you can expect good child actors, at least, for the most part. So, I'm going to give that a eight point, a, an 8 out of 10. What am I doing? I already gave it a score. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. So, anyway, thank you, and goodbye.